A tragic discovery made by a St. Petersburg mother. She found her son and his girlfriend dead in her garage, and their deaths appear to be a terrible accident. Chip Osowski joins us now live in St. Petersburg. No foul play suspected here, right, Chip? Not at all, Jen. The teens were found in a garage in the complex that you see behind me. According to Assistant Chief Jim Privatera, detectives believe this was not a homicide, not a suicide, simply an accident. An accident that has torn apart two families just days before Christmas. Detectives surrounded the garage where the two teenagers were found. They identified them as 17-year-old Dorian Gomez Pullman and his 14-year-old girlfriend, Emily Sabo. Both are East Bay High School students in Hillsborough County. Dorian's mother lived in this complex, and he visited quite often. Both families knew something was up when the couple went missing. At some point, a family member figured out how to uh, narrow down the field of cellular coverage on the girl's phone. And that led them over here to the young man's mother's residence. Investigators believe the two were in the garage with the SUV running and died from carbon monoxide poisoning. First responders telling us it can happen quite quickly. Uh, once you start uh, breathing in the carbon monoxide itself, then it starts um, <clears throat> combining with your blood and the hemoglobin in your blood, and then it can render you unconscious pretty quickly. People who live in the area are in shock. Sadness. I would, I would say the, the message is it's, it's a very sad day for this community to have this happen and then feeling for the family members. Even seasoned law enforcement officers were having a tough time dealing with this scene. Well, I mean, you know, we got two fathers up there and uh, a mother and uh, I don't know if it's a stepfather or boyfriend. Uh, you got two devastated families. Uh, it's, it's difficult. Uh, I mean, these are young kids. And teens have been blowing up social networking sites, including Twitter, after learning what happened, offering their condolences to the two families. Jen. Such a heartbreak, Chip. And I do understand there is already a memorial planned. Well, that's from what, from what I understand from reading Twitter. There's one scheduled to take place tonight, and then there is another one scheduled to take place on Wednesday night at East Bay High School at 630. Chip Osowski, live in St. Petersburg, Petersburg for us tonight. Thank you, Chip.